Building a good 100k starter team for you guys to use for FIFA 22, let's get into it. Do you guys want to kickstart your Foot 22 team off with a bang? Head over right now to AOEAH.com to get yourself Foot 22 coins and use the code NERD at the checkout for 3% off your order. Link will be in the top line of the description. Okay boys, so today we are back with a brand new video and as you can tell by the title today, we are here with the squad builder, a first squad builder of FIFA 22. No, it's not a challenge video, but it is indeed a squad builder to help you guys out for the start of the game. If you didn't know and you're living under a rock, obviously early access dropped, when was it? Tuesday, Wednesday, sorry. I nearly said Tuesday. It was Wednesday. So that dropped the other day. So today, what we're going to be doing is helping you guys out build one of your first teams for this game. Obviously, at the start, you're not going to have that many coins. So we're going to go ahead and build the most efficient team we can with the best players we could kind of think about. Obviously, there's a load of people that have built teams, but this is a team that I've come up with. Hopefully you guys try it out and give it a go. If you do, let me know in the comments below how you got on with it. Obviously, I'll show you the starting 11, so the 11 plays in the squad. Then we're going to show you the in-game formation, custom tactics, and instructions as well that we're going to be using for this team. So I think that's enough for now, but also soon, I think probably tomorrow morning, we'll be dropping a video on checking out some of your guys' team. If you don't follow me on Twitter, at NerdFileByT, you probably haven't got that long left to do it, but go over to my Twitter, look at the tweet where I've talked about it, and drop the screenshot of your team in there. Anyways, now let's get ourselves over to FIFA 22. Let's get building this squad. And obviously we will be using it in a game as well. So I'll see you guys over there. Okay, so now over onto FIFA. Let's go through this team from goalkeeper all the way to the forwards. So goalkeeper of choice for the team is Mr. Mike Nunn, obviously transferring to AC Milan this year. Had an upgrade as well and he's a very solid keeper. I mean, most keepers this year are pretty solid. Let's be honest, they are pretty much ridiculous. So here's the goalkeeper we have gone for for this team. On to our right back of choice. We've gone for Fredericks. Not the most expensive, but he's got the pace. Pace isn't as key this year, but he's still very good in terms of defenders because you want to definitely make sure your defense can keep up with attacks because if not, I don't even know what defenders you're using. But Fredericks is still a very decent player. Moving on to his partner in crime. Mr. Consa, the Aston Villa man with a very, very nice card. 77 pace in there, which is obviously one of the key stats. Six foot as well. Very decent on the board as well and quite agile, which is nice to see. His centre-back partner, we've gone for Tamori. As you can see, a very nice card. Four-star weak foot on there as well, but 82 pace, 80 defending, 79 physical. A solid, solid centre-back to start off with in this game. Then the final defender for the team, we've got Mr. Nuno Mendes. Obviously a new PC player, just transferred there recently. Very, very young. 85 pace, 74 defending, 72 physical. Definitely recommend chucking a shadow on him, especially for the defending stats. Very good for this stage the game. Now, moving on to our midfield three on the right centre mid. Starting off, we've got Mr. Saul, obviously transferring from Atletico Madrid to Chelsea, and somehow getting a minus two downgrade, even though Atletico literally won the league. I don't know if he played that often. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he was injured, but still. Saul's an all-round midfielder to use. 71 pace, 78 shooting, 78 passing, 79 dribbling, 78 defending, and 79 physical. He can play defensive, or he can go box-to-box -box realistically. So, our central midfielder is Mr. Phil Foden. I actually have used this card already, and the only reason I'm using the loan is because the one I've got is a centre forward so chemistry wouldn't be as good but Phil Foden on this game is very good I mean 87 dribbling good pace as well it's good shooting good passing and the four star skills he is a very nice midfielder especially for the start of this game moving then on to the left center mid we have got Mr. Renato Sanchez four star four star 84 pace 84 dribbling 74 shooting 77 passing 84 physical 72 defending once again this guy is going to be a beast any special card this guy gets this year it's going to be ridiculous no matter what rating he really gets but that there is an incredible gold base card. Then on to our right wing, we've got Mr. Lucas Mora. Just like every year, this guy is very good at the start of the game, and he's definitely a player I'd use, even if you don't put him into your team. On the bench, he'll be solid as well as an impact sub. Our striker of choice is Mr. Gabriel Jesus. Once again, just like Lucas, he's always a solid option at the start of the game for a striker position. This I mean, looking at this card, 84 pace, 86 dribbling, 81 shooting, 72 passing. Solid, solid stats for the start of FIFA 22. And then onto the left wing, we've got Mr. Bamba, as you can see with the strong link to Sanchez. 89 pace, 81 dribbling, 75 shooting, 74 passing. Four star, four star, high high work rates as well. A very nippy and good card to use at the start. So there we go. That is the starting 11 for the 100K squad. But we actually don't play that formation in game. So let me go ahead and show you the custom tactics, the formation and the instructions we use for this team. Okay, onto the formation we play in game first. It is the 4-2-3-1. So as you can see, the defense is the same. Then we have left defense midfield is Saul, right defensive midfield is Renato Sanchez, then left cam Bamba, central cam Foden, right cam is Lucas Moura, and then striker is Gabriel Jesus. 
And then on to the tactics for the team. We have got pressure on a heavy touch on the defensive style. We've got width as 45, depth as 50. And then to the offensive tactics, we've got build a play as long ball, chance creation as direct passing, width 50, plays in a box four, corners two, and free kicks two. And then when it comes to the instructions, we have got both fullbacks on stay back while attacking, both CDMs on stay back while attacking and cover center. Then we then got a central cam on stay on the edge of the box for crosses. And then the striker in getting behind and stay forward. So you're now seeing the team, the tactics, the instructions and also the formation that we play in game there's one thing left to do and that is actually go ahead and play a game or two with this team so let's go ahead now onto fifa and get ourselves into a game let's see what this team can do so i'll see you guys when we find an opponent all right we have found ourselves an opponent and our opponent's team is not a bad one at all actually a nice little starter team as well probably around about the same price maybe a little bit more expensive than ours let's see what we can do foden come on Renato sanchez beautiful good football oh unlucky Renato Sanchez, good strength. Good challenge, Tamori. Oh, well played, Tamori. Good challenge, Nuno. Good ball from Foden to Bamba. Come on, can we get an attack off here? Fullback's catching up. Foden's on the edge. Foden with the ball roll. Across goal. Oh, good save. Go on. Bang that soul. Oh, oh. Oh, that's a good ball over. Lucas is back from the corner. What a finish. Wow, okay. I mean, what can you really do about for this? I did not expect him to score there at all. Conza, well played. Good composure, lad. Good pressure from Saul. Well played, Saul. Needs help. Needs support. Knocks it into Jesus. What a ball. Jesus. Near post. Good save. Good save. Good save, my man. Phil Foden. Good ball. Back to Saul. Into Foden again. Into Jesus. Jesus! What a goal! Oh, that is beautiful football. Come on, then. That's more like it. Here we go. Foden into Bamba. Into Jesus. Jesus again. Oh, yes. That is what we like to see. Jesus with two. Come on. Good block, Conza. Jesus. To Renato Sanchez. Back into Saul. Heel to heel. In the middle. Foden. Phil Foden topping. It's 3-1. You know what? This team is actually class. Konza is brilliant, honestly. Konza is absolutely brilliant. All right, there we go then. Half time is here. We are 3-1 up. After going 1-0 down, which was quite disappointing, we are now 3-1 up. Jesus has got two. Foden with one. It's been a good game. I'm really enjoying using this team. The tactics are working out very well. The formation suits this team perfectly as well. So we're going to get ourselves into the second half and let's see what we could do there. Oh, well, it looks like we're not going to continue in the second half because our opponent is actually quick. And I just want to point out as well, that is not Division 10. As you can see here, we are in Division 6. So we are playing pretty decent players because not that many people are going to be in Division 6 at the moment. Anyways, there we go then. That does indeed wrap up the 100k squad builder for you guys to use in FIFA 22. I'd love to know your guys' feedback in the comments below. Is there any players you guys would replace on that team to keep the value at the same around about 100,000? The only issue you're going to have with that team is getting Renato Sanchez because you probably will have to snipe him at the moment. But as long as you can do that, you should be fine and the team will be yours. But yeah, anyways guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. Oh,